This is Carrie Buck, who lives in this beautiful lakefront mansion. Carrie, you've been here for 30 years. Right. And you've done quite a bit, but it looks as if it had this nice Mediterranean character from the beginning. Yeah, it did. When you got here in 1978, what was its? What did it look like? Uh, I think someone had tried to modernize it at one point. Oh, you're kidding. Uh-huh. And what had they done? Drop the ceilings and things? Well, they uh, upstairs they took the fireplace out of the bedroom. Um, wow, they did this one obviously is original. This is fantastic. Right. Wow. So did you have to... Restore? I broke all the fireplaces through. Um, this one was here, but it just This one was through. here. Now, this next room is an addition. Oh, really? Yeah. This was built before we bought the house, oh. but uh, we've changed it quite a bit. And the next room is an addition that I put on. Oh, really? So we walked through the eras of the house. Here. Right. This is sort of the party rooms. And then out there, of course, is one of the greatest assets, the lake. Did you see my fort? Your fort? Oh, let's look. This is for the grandkids. Should we go out? Sure. We've just come through from a very formal front yard to an informal backyard. And you were you were saying something about that when I got here, how it looks more serious the, in the front than in the back. The backyard's a lot friendlier. It is. It has a real resort feeling. I like the arches, the stucco. This is more like a cottage back here. Big cottage, uh, but a cottage. See, even off my bedroom, you can sit outside. Wow. Can you see Michigan from there? No. But you sure do see a lot of Lake Michigan. Right. And you were telling me the Lady Elgin is right out here in the... Out right, here in it's your... right off... Let's see. It's right off that groin right there. Really? If you go straight out about 100 yards. That's where the Lady Elgin is submerged. Right. Wow. And so we drop off here on the lawn. How far above the water are we? 20 feet? Or more than that. See that boathouse there? Oh, I see. Okay. That's probably be about 15 feet. So I'd say maybe um, 50 feet. But it's sloped. And this is boat storage? How many boats can I put in there? It's, it's as big as a three-car garage. Wow. How wide is your beach? How much beach do you have? 150 feet. And I built the pier and the boathouse. I don't know boating. What's that? What is that at the end of the pier, that sort of winch looking? Oh, that, that's something that you can lower something down in the water with. Oh. Like a jet ski or sure. windsurf or something like that. And so then back to the house. Here we are. It really does have the feeling of sort of a Mexican or California resort with this great fountain. And it's all overgrown with, uh, these are grapes here. Yeah. This is wonderful. And back here you were telling me this is a children's play yard? Right. Mainly because you can lock them in here. <laughs> <laughs> I see with this gate behind me. Shall we go in? Sure. Now I think you told me this kitchen used to be several rooms? Right. When we bought it, let's see. The kitchen was over there. Way back in the back here? And there was like a little fireplace over here that was one of those little stove things. Oh, yeah. Um, so we, we bumped that fireplace through over there and then put the kitchen... Everything's different. <laughs> Everything's always changing. Now, is this big window that frames the view of the lake original, this big picture window? There was a window that size here when we bought it, but um, it wasn't thermal paint, so we changed it. But I think originally it was not that big. It was probably... Um, it really smaller. does a great view. And then what we missed when I came inside is this great entry gallery with the second floor stair, the second floor landing. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Now all these beams were these in this kind of this great scraped condition when you bought it, or did you have to strip paint off them? No, it was like that. Actually, they were light color wood. Yeah, I made them dark. And then that ceiling. Wow. Do you want to walk through uh, upstairs? Sure. So how um, many bedrooms are there up here besides the master? Three more. And then are there more? Are there bedrooms in the basement? Or is it a four-bedroom house, or are there more? It used to be five up here. 
but I made one into the city room. And then there's another bedroom over in the coach house. These are all closets in here. This used to be a little Mirror sitting room. Three sides. I'm getting lost in these mirrors. Yeah, I know. Wow. Nice. Well, let's go out this way. We're continuing that resort feel with this scrub pine. Yeah, all the bedrooms. I feel like I've gone to Mexico. <laughs> And then, so here we are, this is coming off the master suite onto a deck. Wow. Just can't help going back out to the lake, can we? This is great. So we've come back out front because you've got all these gardens. You've got a tennis court out there at the end. And I have a great old Spanish wall on Sheridan Road. Well, let's, let's get a good, good look, look at, at the coach, coach houses. And you showed me a brochure a minute ago that had Donald Rumsfeld's father as the original real estate agent, right? Isn't that funny? That's great. Oh, here's the little pond you've been mentioning. This is mm -hmm. It's like a little hideout here. Oh, yeah. Sit right here and hear the fountain? Mm-hmm. Wonderful. Can we see the house? 